Welcome back, friends. Our good friend Tommy Tuberville is here with us, of course, former Auburn head football coach and running for U.S. Senate. But we're going to talk about uh, mainly football today. How are you? It's good to see you. I'm again. doing good. Thank you. Been all over the state traveling and meet a lot of great people. But this is a great time of the year. November's coming around in college football and high school football. Man, what a lot of fun. Yeah, we're gearing up for the playoffs yeah. on high school ball here uh, locally. And of course, that's uh, just a week away. I want to talk about the news breaking this week that the NCAA quote, clearing the way for athletes to profit from their name, image, and likeness. Then they added in a manner consistent with the collegiate model. What does that mean? Well, they're opening up a can of worms what they're doing. And uh, I can understand why, because lawsuits are getting ready to come. NCAAs, you know, they're, they're, they're getting behind the wall. And they don't want any more lawsuits than possible. What's happening is they're they're going to give them the opportunity to use their name and likeness, but they're going to block them in a lot of ways. In other words, if you're Tua Tagovailoa and you want to wear Under Armour shoes because they're giving you money, but Alabama's obviously Nike, he's going to have to wear Nike shoes. And it's it's going to be just for a few people at a few teams. It's going to be more basketball than anything. You know, you think about that. It's yeah. going to be basketball players selling jerseys, but your main quarterbacks and stuff, they'll make a little bit of money, but. Say Herschel Walker, you got Herschel Walker coming to your team, and uh, he's got to get an agent, he's got to get accountants, he's got to get lawyers because, say, they come in NCAA uh, football, you know, one of these video games, and they want to put your picture on, we're going to give you a million dollars. Those things are going to happen. It might not be that much, but there's going to be quite a bit of money for a few, not a lot of, not a lot of players. So you don't think it's a good thing. I don't think it's a good thing because you're opening up other things because there's going to be antitrust laws, labor issues, uh, and there's going to be more lawsuits come around and it's going to open up more avenues for money to be paid to players. I'm for them getting everything they can get, but for to go out and sell your likeness and stuff, really, it's only for a few. It's This is a team sport and you're teaching team and then you got some players that are going to be making money driving nice cars and you're going to have the right guard and the left tackle, you know, going, hey, what happened to me? You know, those type of things. Is it is it tougher for guys like you? And I don't mean this offensive in any way, but you made millions of dollars for a long time. Is it tougher for you to see the point of view of the players uh, after being a head coach for a long time? No, I tell you, I've always been for the players. People don't realize what these kids go through every day. They work out some form of fashion for 365 days for many years to possibly get to the point to play college or maybe in the NFL. They don't have time to get a part-time or a full-time job in the off-season. They don't make money. They can't. They just—it's not feasible. So, I'm for giving money, and they—they they all make money, 500 to 1,000 cash, if you're on scholarship a month. Now, as we speak, everything else is paid. That really doesn't pay for a whole lot. Some of these kids need a little bit more, and, and I'm for them getting in every dime they possibly can, because, as you said, coaches, administrators, they're making a lot of money. The NCAA president makes four million a year. Wow. Yeah, four million a year. And uh, then you have commissioners, conference commissioners, all those people, there's a lot of money involved. I would ask, are we paying too much to college football coaches? But I think Nick Saban is a guy who has obviously exceeded his value at the University of Alabama, putting them on the map. In, in Nick Saban's not ways. making enough money. Yeah. I mean, for what he's done for this state and winning championships, and he, he, what he's done for college football, I tell a lot of my buddies sometimes, how much are y'all sending Nick a, a, a month? <laughs> I mean, because he's made y'all money. He's made every campus money, but you know, he's been successful. Se successful people do that. And, it, and it's not just for their schools, it's for all the other schools. We gotta go here, but uh, Joey Gatewood left the program this week at Auburn. What, what was the first thing you thought about when you saw that? Well, he just, he hadn't been on the field much. And you know, you, you were just hoping that, you know, he would, be able to be a part of the success or the failure no matter what happens because there, there's probably not a lot of difference between he and Patrick Nix but it's hard to alternate quarterbacks it you know it's so hard to say in a tough situation you know let's put another quarterback in there quarterback chain signal change the snap count at LSU already had six or seven offsides you know all those things come into play so I hate that he's transferring I think he's going to be a good quarterback Obviously, he's going to go somewhere else, and we'll find out how much, how well he does there. All right, Coach Tuberville, great Thank to you. see you. Good to see you. We appreciate you stopping by, as always. And, of course, running for United States Senate, we have a story right now on our website about his campaign stop in Dothan.